All right, YouTube. Got my latest purchase here today. Um, well, ever since the uh, glorious victory of uh, Donald J. Trump, uh, I've been slowing down my purchases of ammo and uh, other accessories, which is good. Um, but now that I've got a stockpile of ammo that I've been burning through, I've been actually shooting, shooting brass, as you can tell here. So I'm finally using the good stuff instead of the cheap steel case. Um, so now I've, uh, went to the range last weekend or a couple weekends ago and started shooting a little bit, uh, longer distances. I had some, uh, previous red dot optics and, uh, usually I zero them in for 50 to, uh, 25, 75 yards, no more than that. But, uh, they had some steel plate targets out there at hundred yards and, uh, 150, 200. And I was able to start uh, hitting steel targets. And let me tell you, if you've never hit steel, uh, and you can hear that report, it uh, kind of gets addicting. So, um, kind of been wanting to find something to shoot out a little farther. Now, yeah, I know I'm going to be using it on a carbine. But, uh, I mean, I was having success uh, with a carbine out at 200 yards uh, hitting steel plates at the, the range I was at. So uh, today, I've been uh, for the last few weeks, I've been studying and looking around for a decent uh, budget scope, something uh, that can use uh, up up close and uh, a little distance. And I was looking at Bushnell. Uh, I've had a couple of Bushnell scopes, uh, Red Dot, and I like those. Uh, in fact, I got two, and uh, Firefield was another one that I found at uh, a local sportsman's uh, warehouse here for a Red Dot, and I really like those because uh, I have an astigmatism, so any red dot that I do buy, no matter how much I spend, uh, like I mentioned before, is not going to come out clear. It's always going to look blurred. I checked out a few today, and uh, I looked at some $500, $600, $800, and the uh, red dot still blurry. So it just really doesn't uh, help to spend a lot of money on something if it's not going to be crystal clear. So what I did was I bought something that was uh, in line with the Bushnell that I was looking at. Uh, it doesn't have that cool throwdown handle, but I don't think I'd be using that throwdown handle a lot. So what I did was I was at uh, Colorado Springs Guns and Ammo, and uh, they had 10% uh, off of all accessories, which included scopes, any parts except lower receivers. So that's not too bad. So what I did was I bought me uh, the Firefield Close Combat 1 to 4 by 24 rifle scope. So uh, I paid, uh, it was 119 after 10%, plus the government taxes. Uh, it came out the door uh, 116 and some pennies. So this one right here was uh, brought in 11-23-2016, so it's pretty new. The guy's already sold, uh, he had 25, he had 8 left on his shelf. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing and uh, check it out. All right, well, you have your standard user manual, battery, wiping cloth. We have uh, some rings here, which should bring it over the uh, top of the front sight post. And we have our optic. Now the optic was wrapped in plastic, um, but we took it out. So, we'll stop. So what we have here is our uh, Firefield 1 to 4 optic. Um, you can see it's got the turrets. You might have to use an Allen wrench to adjust them. Uh, it's got a 1 to 4 times multiple uh, magnification. Starting to get 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, up to 4. I'm probably going to get some flip-ups for this. Um, looks pretty well built. It's got a nice satin finish maybe I would call it which is which matches my uh, now falling down Bushmaster so let's go ahead and start preparing to uh, mount this on okay so um, the previous dot that I had on here the red dot was uh, the Bushnell um, so I'm gonna be removing that and we're gonna go ahead into the installation uh, that'll be reused on something else, most likely my C93, which I'll do a review on that here in the next uh, coming weeks, I guess. Um, so that one has been removed. I like the uh, the Bushnell. 
Um, it was pretty decent. I uh, got him in a trade for some uh, magazine, so not a bad deal. So we're going to go ahead and do a setup, and we're going to go ahead and get the uh, optic mounted eye relief, uh, most likely flush up to the uh, charging handle. All right, so I've taken the time to uh, mount this on my uh, Bushmaster. Um, these right here are going to go. These little bikini covers. They're pretty chintzy, so I'm probably going to get some uh, flip-ups just for the front. Um, so I leveled out the uh, rifle uh, on the vise and uh, block, and I leveled out the scope as best I can. Then I got it to a uh, pretty comfortable position with the eye relief. Um, it looks pretty good. It's got a uh, dual illuminated, which means you could switch from red to uh, green crosshairs. It's got mill dot uh, reticle, so um, playing around a little bit with that. And the uh, diopter right here to help focus it in, just make it a little bit more clear. Uh, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, the risers could be a little higher, maybe a quarter inch uh, to three eighths of an inch higher. That would get me uh, over the front sight post uh, a little better, but uh, out to uh, once you get past two to four, uh, you can't see the front sight post. It focuses right past it, but uh, one to one and a half, the uh, sight post is a little blurry in the front, but if you don't focus on it, you're not going to really pay attention to it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it so far, uh, just tinkering around with it on the rifle. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty simple to use. You have your uh, reticle on and off switch. You have uh, five levels of brightness for green and red, and then you have the turrets up here with the uh, half-inch uh, MOA. Um, so those are going to take a little bit of tinkering to get it in. I plan on trying to get out to the range tomorrow, um, so maybe we can get some uh, some actual rounds down range with this. But overall, a uh, pretty good purchase for $116. You know. Uh, yeah, I probably could have got it cheaper online, but you know, once again, you pay shipping, you have to wait. Uh, this right here is the instant gratification, and you get hands-on. So, uh, in comparison with the Bushnell, the uh, that I was looking at, which is uh, about 200, maybe uh, 250 plus, depending on where you look. Um, the only thing that I'm not really getting on this is the uh, bullet drop compensator, which uh really once i start using the uh, mill dot uh, i'll go ahead and be able to uh, identify where i can uh, make adjustments uh, past you know 100 yards if i i need to so now i'm kind of getting the uh, long distance bug so maybe in the future i'll probably start buying a little bit more powerful scopes uh, but so the uh second uh Firefield uh, optic I had uh, I bought two of these so far um, and I had the originally on the uh, other Project gun that I was building and this one's they work pretty good. Um, I Can't uh, really say anything bad about them, you know for the money. I think I paid, you know, $50 uh, After my discount and everything and they they work pretty good So, you know, once again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on a red dot that I'm never gonna be able to focus clearly on so um, Firefield seems like a pretty big uh, pretty good deal for the for the money um, once again, you buy decent products, you know, at a decent price, you can buy more and, you know, get something different. So, uh, I like it a lot. I'm not really going to complain. I really don't care what, the people at the range are thinking with their high end scopes. They could spend all the money they want. So, uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, try to get this out to the range as soon as we can. All right.